guys welcome to my channel my name is Ania Dengue and if this is your first time here here on this channel I like to do makeup hair vlogs lifestyle a little bit of everything so if that's something that interests you or if you see any content that you like please consider subscribing and join the gang okay because it is a lot of y'all watching my videos but most of y'all not subscribed so what's up what y'all doing I just want to jump right into it before I jump right into my makeup I'm just gonna say I want to thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers okay i missed the 200 subscriber mark i missed the 300 subscriber mark i'm over 300 subscribers and i was like oh my god i just not expect so many subscribers in such a little time and over two weeks my subscriber count has doubled um and i just want to thank you all for sticking along with me and watching my videos and stuff like that again i want to thank you guys for over 5k views on my bbl video that's crazy so if you haven't go watch that make sure you go watch my bbl series i will definitely leave the links below to my bbl videos down below in the um description box so make sure you follow along with me on my bbl journey today i'm actually one more full stop and i'm not gonna show you my body but i will be showing you guys my body for a five week update um i do have a three week update video so if you haven't seen that make sure you go watch that and yeah again i just want to say thank you so much and i'm going to show you how i achieved this look i achieved this look only using the james charles morphe palette and i only had this palette here at my mom's house because all my makeup is at my boyfriend's house but my boyfriend's like babe this is a good idea why don't you start a one palette series so I'm going to start a series where I just create looks using only one palette because there's a lot of girls on here on YouTube, you know, that want to do makeup but don't have the money to spend on all these palettes. Palettes can be very expensive, guys. So using a, getting one look out of one palette is very helpful, I think. Um, and it's very easy to do, especially when you... Let me give you a tip real quick. I'm, I don't want to ramble on too much. Let me give you a tip. So when you're doing makeup... This is real dirty, but when you're doing makeup looks and you want to, you like, I don't know what to do. Just take four colors. Take four colors and create a look with that. It's really easy, really simple. Um, Today, I'm going to show you how I got this, like, I call it, like, a spring look. It's, like, more, like, of a summertime look. I, I don't know, but I like really bright and bold colors. I feel like everybody does the little pastel colors to spring and that's cute and stuff but sometimes uh you want a little bit more color so i did this little blue green and yellow look today and i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieve that look so make sure you stay tuned like comment share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can get notified every time you ever post a video again make sure you hit that subscribe button thanks guys and i'm gonna just jump right into it because i'm rambling <laughs> Okay guys, so I already did my eyebrows because that can get um, pretty repetitive. But um, just disclaimer, my dog is in here and he's sleeping and he's snoring, so if you hear anything, that's just him snoring really loudly. And I'm only working from this palette today. This is the James Charles palette and I'm at my mom's house. I don't have all my makeup here with me. Um, I live with my boyfriend, so all my makeup palettes are at home. I only have this one with me, like I said. And yeah, so I'm going to create a series. My boyfriend actually gave me this idea. So thanks. Shout out to you, babe. Um, He gave me this idea. He was like, why don't you start a one palette series where you just create all the looks using, of course, one palette. And today I'm going to do a spring look. I'm going to do like, it's like kind of a yellow, blue, and green look. Um, I have really no clue what I'm doing. But I'm just going to go with the flow and see how it turns out. But I just wanted to get on here because I feel like I haven't done makeup in forever, guys. I haven't done makeup in a very long time because, as you all know, I've had a BBL. And if you haven't gone to see my BBL videos, please make sure you go watch them. It will be um, a link down below in the description box. And, um, yeah, just go check out and follow me along on my BBL journey because it has been a freaking journey, y'all. It has been a journey, let me tell you. And right now, I am, today it actually makes one month post app. And I wasn't going to do an update video because I was like, why would I do an update video and I'm not even doing anything this week? And I just did a three-week update video. So I'm going to do like a five-week update video. I'm supposed to be going somewhere on Sunday um, to a brunch on Sunday. So I wanted to show people like how I went out and stuff like that after BBL. I have been sitting periodically here and there. Um, but this isn't really, I'm not going to get too much into my BBL. Um, I don't really want to talk about that today because like I said, it'll be a video on that coming very soon. So I'm going to go in with this green color and then I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to use this lighter green color right here to blend it out more. And then um, I really don't know what look I'm going for. I just know I do, want to do a green, yellow, and blue look. Because um, I always feel like I work with a lot, a lot of pinks and purples. And that's fine too. But sometimes you, you just got to switch it up, you know. Um, so I'm just going to blend that up. And I just want to say thank you again to all my new subscribers, guys. You don't understand how much this means to me. Like, I have a prayer journal and I write things down. Um, 
of course in my prayer journal things that i want things that i want from god things that i want to accomplish and things that i want to work on like as far as like personal relationships like um with my boyfriend or with my family or even within myself like things that i need to change within myself i just dip back into the darker green just to blend this part out right here a little bit more and in my prayer book on april 16th today is the 29th but when i checked this a few days ago i wrote down i wanted to have a certain amount of subscribers by a certain time guys let me tell you how good my god is i have doubled the amount of subscribers i asked for on april 16th within two weeks exactly two weeks when i checked it was exactly two weeks from when i had um asked god to you know help me get to that goal and i, th I just want to thank you guys so much for watching my video and it's a lot of y'all that's watching my videos but y'all not subscribed why are you not subscribed i don't know but make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time i post a video um I'm just getting a lot of support from people and I did not expect it to happen so fast. I was like, okay, maybe I have this amount of subscribers by then, but I surpassed that goal and I cannot do without you guys and I cannot have done it without God, of course. Um, But yeah, I always just try to put God first and set realistic expectations for myself. And if I don't pass them, I just always believe that um, to be delayed is not to be denied. If it's not for me right now, it will be for me in the future. Or if it's not for me at all, it's just not for me and I have to figure out something else. But I really want to, um, you know, go far with this YouTube thing. I want to become a better makeup artist. I know I talk about this all the time. Just becoming a better makeup artist. And yeah, I just, I don't know how this look is going to turn out today because, and I've done a car crease as you can see, but I don't know how this look is going to turn out today because I haven't done makeup in a while. Like, I just messed that up. Let me stop talking. Hold on. Anyways, like I was saying, I haven't done makeup in a while and I miss doing makeup. Um, this is not the best cut crease, but I'm gonna make it work. Um, anyways, I took a break from TikTok, a long break from TikTok, because like I said, I couldn't sit. And I miss TikTok, but then I got banned from them because I posted this BBL video. It's like a transformation video, and I guess because it had butts in it, I got blocked for a while. And so I just kind of fell off with TikTok, and I've just been more so focused on my Instagram page on my makeup page but like i said i haven't been doing makeup for a while so i've just been m.i.a guys and it feels so good to be back it feels so good to be back i was wondering for the longest time like how am i gonna record videos if i can't sit and i didn't i just didn't record videos until i could sit until i felt okay comfortable with sitting i just did not record um and that's okay uh i don't like pushing myself to do things that i'm not comfortable with doing okay i'm like i do like pushing myself to do things i'm not comfortable doing but in that situation i was not comfortable so yeah and i'm gonna fix this cut crease because i definitely went um up way too high so i'm just gonna get some green and then pack that back in there and then cut it out again because i do not want that um crazy looking cut crease right there and i am using the um p louise base to cut my crease Okay, so now that I have that cut out, I'm gonna go in with a blue color. Um, it's not a lot of blues. In it. I mean, it has like these blues in here, but I feel like this is more purple. And I'm gonna go in with this blue right here, I think. And I'm gonna um, pack it in on the outer corner of my lid. I don't want it to be harsh cut crease right here. So I'm going to take um, some of that lighter green and kind of blend the blue and the green together. I'm still using the same brush. And this is the Morphe um, M321 brush. Took some of that darker green and just packed it in to blend it out a little bit more. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I take that light green and pack it in right here to blend that out some. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go in with a yellow. I don't know how I'm gonna blend this blue and yellow together, but I'm gonna make it work. I wanna go in with this yellow right here. And I'll worry about blending that in later.
for that yellow I used my M166 brush from Morphe and now that I have that I think I'm also going to take that light green again because I don't have many colors to work here with and um blend the two colors in together and when people think of spring makeup they usually think of bright like um pastel colors and stuff like that but I also think this is like spring makeup summer makeup this is just really bright and bold colors um I probably wouldn't do this look in the winter time honestly I will, I will wear any color in the winter time I meant during any time but yeah I'm gonna just take that green and pat that in between the two colors just so I can blend them out a little bit so it has a smooth transition and doesn't look so harsh and patchy you can tell like the clear line between that and from that side again take the green pat it up and I like to brush it into the blue on the blue side more so I'm not taking away from a lot of that yellow okay so those are my eyes something really simple I'm not gonna do too much um, and then I'm gonna work on my face next and then I'm gonna take my uh, I'm gonna take today the um, Fenty Beauty primer and then just prime my whole face Guys, I ain't beginning to break out so bad down here. And I think it's because I've been going outside more and I've been wearing my mask more. Um, in my last video, I was like, oh, my skin is clearing up. But that's because I was in the house, not wearing any makeup, you know, washing my face like religiously like twice a day. And now I've been back outside. I've been washing my face like only one time a day again. I still haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup. But because I've been wearing a mask more often now, I'm getting masky. And it's quite annoying. So I want to know your opinion. How do y'all feel about this whole mask? Um, the little updated news that the president gave talking about you can, if you're fully vaccinated, you can wear your mask. You don't have to wear your mask outside. First of all, I already thought that was the thing. I thought that was the thing. Like I, I thought you didn't have to wear your mask outside anyway. But it's like um, people are reopening up inside restaurants and stuff like that, and it's like all this stuff is like happening fast, y'all. And like even my job was asking me that like they're going to reopen and stuff. And it's like I honestly love working from home. I love the flexibility from working at home because like I can do things like this while I'm still working. You know, um, I try not to do this while I'm working, but I can, I could have the freedom to do that if I wanted to while I was working. So I put my um primer on, then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty foundation, and this is in the color the shade 440. And I'm just gonna scrub that all over my face. But anyways, so this just seems like everything's like opened up really fast. And I do have my first vaccine. I'm going to get my second one soon. But um, just how do you guys feel about that? Like, would you rather stay work? Like, if you are working from home, would you rather be working at home, or do you want to go back into the office? Like, I am a case manager, and yes, I do work with clients. But a lot of my stuff is um, I call them, so it's not like I have to be in the office to see them. And guys, I forgot to. I normally um conceal my dark spots but I, I just forgot to and i'm just gonna keep going but it's just like god like yes i want to be outside i want this thing to be over but i just i just hope it's not too soon because there are still a lot of people that are not vaccinated and it's like how do you know how just how do you know if this person is not vaccinated or not you know i mean you can ask people but come on do you really know and it's like a lot of the population that i work with they're not they're, they do not want to get vaccinated and i completely understand for people who don't want to get vaccinated i completely understand why you wouldn't want to get vaccinated especially as a black person um why you would not trust um this vaccine and the vaccine is not fda approved i got the moderma and it's not fda approved but it's like a lot of vaccines that come out are not fda approved so yeah i don't know i don't know but i just felt like i needed the vaccine for like if i want to go into clients homes and stuff like that i want to make sure i'm protected um and i want to be able to visit my family and stuff like my whole family got the vaccine my grandmother got the vaccine and stuff and it's like i don't have the vaccine i got it a, a little bit after them because i was worried that if i got it um around my surgery time that i might be canceled for my surgery because they do say um once you get i'm sorry that's my dog but they do say like um once you get the vaccine you can show a positive for your covid test and i did not want them to require a covid test and then you know it shows a positive and i couldn't get it anyways and this is my Morphe um, M6 brush, um, my buffing brush. I love this brush. And then I'm going to go in with some setting spray and a sponge and just blend this all out um, a little bit better. But yeah, down below, just let me know what you think about this whole COVID vaccine and everything reopening again. Of course, I'm ready for it to reopen. I'm ready for it to, ready to go outside. I actually did go um, outside. I went to a cookout last weekend and I really enjoyed myself, guys. I really enjoyed myself. I didn't wear my faja at all. Um, I did swell up and I did drink alcohol, but I wasn't like extremely swollen. I, did, I wasn't as swollen as I thought I was going to be. 
um so that is good that's really good news um i did drive two hours away on my butt no i was not sitting on my um my what is it called my bobby pillow but i don't have any issues i measure myself like almost every day and i haven't lost any inches and my butt is getting softer i just feel like the girls who wait to sit on their butt like I, I, and you just wonder why your butt is still hard well maybe you should start to sit down and they'll start to soften up that's my two cents um but you guys do what you whatever you want to do i'm not a doctor and even doctors say like you should not wait too long to sit on your butt because like your butt is hard and you should not wear your faha for like a year because your body becomes reliant on it sorry i'm just blending out um my concealer into my foundation and this is my real techniques brush i forgot what brush this is but it's an expert um concealer brush and it's real technique it's 210 the 210 brush so now that i have that one i know i'm looking a little bit crazy but bear with me i have that one now so i'm gonna go in and i learned from tiktok to start with your concealer first so i'm gonna try that i'm gonna start with my concealer i hope it's not i meant my what is this concealer my contour <laughs> it is concealer but my contour um and this is my morphe concealer in the color c565 i'm just gonna put that right above my um cheekbone right here and then same thing on this side and that's all i really contour everything else like uh, my forehead i like to bronze my forehead so i'm gonna leave that right there and with the same brush again i'm gonna go on my next setting spray my beauty blender spray and then blend out that contour Because when you put your contour down first, it's easier to, um, excuse me, if you do too much contour, it's easier to um, put the highlight on top and bring the contour down some if it is too much. And I'm going with my highlighter. This is my e.l.f. Um, Camel Concealer. I think this is the 16 hour Camel Concealer and this is in the color Deep Cinnamon. I'm going to highlight with that. And is it me or in the summertime, like, do you like to over bronze? Um, some, I, first of all, I love bronzer. I just found about a bronzer, about bronzer not too long ago. And it's just like, I'm obsessed. It's like, I am really obsessed with bronzer. And of course, in the summertime, that's when you're supposed to be bronzy and glowy. And I am just like obsessed. Sometimes I OD with my bronzer, but guess what? I do not care. And I'm missing my small beauty blenders. I don't know where they are, but... I'm just gonna blend out my highlighter with a different beauty blender and again i'm gonna every time i go to blend something i always like to have a damp sponge and i dampen it with setting spray you can also do it with water but i like to do it with setting spray so i can press the products into my foundation make sure they really stay my dog is so loud his chains are so loud but he is so cute <laughs> And I like to put highlighter under here just to make my contour look a little bit more dramatic. And I feel like um, I just need to re-wet my sponge. Sometimes you have to do that. And just to mute the lines um, when you're like blending like the um, highlighter out, you don't want to drag it out too far. So I just turn my beauty blender around and I like to mute it with the um, bottom of the beauty blender. Mute that harsh line. It's like after this video, I'm gonna record a haul. I have like so much makeup. Um, that, uh, that I just collected over the last few weeks. And while I had surgery, guys, I was just shopping for makeup. So I spent over like $400 on makeup. Um, because when you are down and depressed, buying makeup helps, okay? And your girl was sad for a little bit um, after surgery. So I was like, why not just buy some makeup? Make me feel better. So I'm going to do a haul and I'm going to have this look on. So don't be surprised when y'all see me in that video. But yeah, I'm just like really excited um, just to get back to YouTube, guys. I really, I really miss it. Like, yes, I've been posting videos, but it's been like more so about my BBL updates and stuff like that. I really haven't been posting any makeup videos. And I'm just so, I'm just so happy to be back. I'm just so happy to be back. And I see a lot of um people now. I'm jumping from subject to subject. It has nothing to do with what I just said. But anyways, 
I see a lot of people now using um, like cream blushes and stuff like that. I haven't been able to find like a really good one. Like I use my e.l.f. one like faithfully all the time. Y'all know my Turks and Caicos, that's like my favorite. <laughs> guys i think my brother's coming home one second okay so sorry about that guys but i honestly forgot what i was saying because i have a bad memory i think i was just talking about my makeup and me doing a haul so make sure you stay tuned for that video um my posting schedule has been completely off because you girls started school again not that it's hard or anything but it's just been a lot i've just been trying to get back to normal and it's so hard if you're considering a bbl it is just so hard being able to like do stuff like and not sit down. It's like I type my papers on my knees and these papers have to be long and your girl's knees get tight. The, the, my knees hurt to like sitting on the ground, sitting with pillows and everything um, on, on underneath my knees. But it hurts, guys. It really does hurt. And that's just something I just never considered. It's like I really wanted to take a semester off, but I'm not, I'm not about to take a semester off just because I can't sit. The girl trying to graduate. I'm trying to get this done. So I don't know. I'm just praying that I can stick this out. I'm um, gonna have a few more weeks and I'm leaving to go to my residency at the end of May. Um, for y'all don't know who the residency is, I go to Capella University and they require us to take three residencies. Um, they push it down to two because of COVID. I just forgot to highlight my forehead, so I'm gonna do that now. But they push it down to two and it's basically, since we do all online work, we have to meet um, three times out of our matriculation in person just to make sure we know what the heck we're talking about for like testing the first thing was um and there the first residency was about therapy and we had to like conduct therapy sessions and stuff like that um to see if they really know your skill because it's hard for them to assess that skill online um this is why we meet in person and then the second residency which i'm going to i already did that so i already did the first residency so if you haven't seen that make sure you go check out that video um but my second residency is coming up and it's basically for psychological testing and we're going to talk about the different types of tests how to administer them and stuff like that just go over all that um and i'm pretty excited i'm going by myself i'm trying to get my boyfriend to come with me if he can get off of work but i'm going by myself and it's in orlando they had two options one was for atlanta but i wasn't healed up yet like it would have to been like next week i think it's actually going on right now and i was like i'm not riding on a plane by myself i thought i wasn't going to be okay by that time but i'm okay and i'm happy i'm still happy i chose the later residency um just to give me time for preparing and stuff but it's like your girl needs clothes like i don't have any like work clothes anymore i don't know not that like i haven't had a real job where i mean i've had real jobs but i haven't had a job where i had to like dress up and since quarantine has happening like i've been i worked as a um behavioral um oh sorry a behavioral technician and basically working with children with aba and um autism um and we wear a t-shirt and leggings every day to work and it's like i've i got a new job since then but it's um all been virtual ever since i started it's only been virtual and oh sorry i used my sasha buttercup powder to bake but it's been virtual the whole time and it's like so i really haven't been able like i really haven't any need to wear any business clothes so i'm like i gotta go shopping i really have to go shopping so you guys will have a uh, few hauls coming soon i've really only been doing like buying clothes from shein but i want to try like um fashion nova again I, I tried fashion nova before i got my body done and the stuff the sizing was just completely off and i never tried them again so i definitely want to give them another try since it's catered more towards my body type now um i gotta blend out this highlight on my nose but um i definitely want to try them out and i want to try out like blush mark and a few other places if you guys want to see any clothing hauls from any particular places please let me know down below because i would love to do that for you guys um now that i got a new body and i'm obsessed with my body i'm gonna go in with my blush usually i like to now i'm gonna wait to do my blush i usually set my face and everything and then do my blush so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stick to my normal routine um set my face again with the nyx setting spray this is the dewy setting spray not the matte I dry my face and everything. My setting spray is on. I'm going to go in. I have to hurry up because I had to take my brother to work. But I'm going to go in and draw. No, I'm going to put my blush on now. Because I was going to draw my moles. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to put my blush on. Again, my Cersei and Keiko's Putty Blush from e.l.f. And I always use my Real Techniques. Y'all know I can never say that word. Real Technique Brush. And this is like the new brush. It was like their triple layer action blush. And I just. Oh. 
I just love y'all. I just love it. I just love it. I just love it. It's so lightweight. At first of all, so lightweight. And the color, I just love the color, especially on my skin. Um, I be ODing with blush, but I love it. I love it. And you can always mute any product that you don't want and buy by using a damn beauty blender. Like if it's, this is too much for you, just use your beauty blender and damn it. Use a damn beauty blender and mute these um, lines. Some so it won't be so harsh. So I am gonna do that. I'm gonna mute this a little bit um, and blend it in a little bit with my foundation. So now that I have that on, I am gonna put on some highlighter and then I'm gonna go finish my eyes and do my lipstick. So since I don't have a lot of products, I am gonna be using my highlighter um as i'm gonna be using eyeshadow as my highlighter from the james charles palette and i'm gonna use this light gold right here it's like an antique gold and this this is my juvia's place highlighter brush i'm gonna put it right here on my cheekbone look at it look at it and i do want to do a giveaway guys um because I wanted to do a giveaway for 200 subscribers, but I got to 300 so quickly. So I'm like, do I do it for 300? Do I do it for 400? I'm just going to do a giveaway. And please let me know what y'all want the giveaway to be. Because I think I want to give away something from the haul that I have coming. So if you guys watch that video and you see something that you like, and if you're the winner, I think I'm going to have you guys pick. I don't know yet. I don't know all the rules and stuff yet. I'm not going to get into it right now because I don't want to lie to y'all. But yeah, so I'm going to go draw my wing liner on and I'm using my CoverGirl liner. And it's a liquid liner with a felt tip. So something slight, something slight, nothing too much. So I have my wing liner on, it's not the best, but it's gonna do for right now. With that green, dark green, I'm gonna highlight my waterline. I like to use a flathead brush for this because it just helps me control the um, eyeshadow better. When I use other brushes, it creates a lot of fallout. And from that green, I'm gonna transition into the blue. This blue right here same brush okay guys I don't know what happened but my camera just completely fell so I hope this was like around the same angle that I was at but I'm gonna finish lining my waterline okay and I'm gonna put on some mascara I'm gonna go ahead and draw my moles on I'm gonna go into my Morphe contour pack palette and then contour my nose with with um what is this called bronzer and I just contour with this fluffy drop bluff brush I forgot where it's from but yeah so I use these two shades right here to contour with to bronze with contour whatever whatever you want to call it. I definitely should have done this before I um wow it looks really dark but I definitely should have done this before I um put my setting spray on I don't know if my phone is really dark or the camera is really dark or what but I look really dark in my phone love a dramatic contoured nose um but I am gonna go on the sides and blend it some I'm just gonna try to mute those lines a little bit I have my nose contoured I'm gonna add some highlighter on the tip of my nose and I just do that with my finger like so like that and then the bridge of my nose I like to take it and pinch the brush like this go ahead and put some mascara on my bottom lashes 
So I definitely got some mascara and I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. I love these angled um, little Q-tips because it helps with stuff like this, like clean it up, any smudges or anything. And I cleaned that up and then I'm gonna go put on my lashes. If I can find a pair of lashes that I like. I thought I packed some, but I'm not sure what they are. Um, Before I put on my lashes, I am going to add some gold in the corners of my eyes just to brighten my eyes up a little bit y'all know i love me a bright inner eye so i'm going to take the same actually i'm going to take a different gold i'm going to take this gold right here at the top of the palette and then this is my tart brush and i'm just going to put it in the inner corners just to really brighten up my inner eye and you saw i added some to my nose because i'm extra before I do my lashes, I am going to line my lips and then I'll jump off camera, do my lashes, and yeah, I'll come back. But I'll line my lips on camera once I find my lip pencil. Here's my lip pencil. And this is the Morphe lip pencil and it is in the color Trendsetter. Guys, please let me know if you know any good um, lip liner, like new lip liners. I've been into really new lipstick looks lately. I want to get more into colorful ones, but not right now. I'm going to stick with my nudes. I don't know which lip I want to do, so I'm going to jump off camera, figure it out, and I'll come back and show you what I did. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I did do a lip combination, and I used, like I said, my um, Morphe lip pencil. I also used my Morphe lipstick. It, this is in the color um, 800. It just says 800, but I can show you the color. Here's the color. It's so like a little new color, and then on top of that, I added in some NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in the color Ginger Snack. So this is what i came up with i don't have any other lipsticks here oh i got stuff all down here it's my lip liner but anyway so i don't have a lot of lipsticks here with me um on camera i know i said i was gonna do it off camera but i'm deciding to do it on camera i'm just gonna apply my lashes really quick and these are some old lashes from my lash brand that i don't have anymore but yeah i'm just gonna apply these really quick Okay, so my lashes are on and I didn't really contour um, or bronze my forehead, but I'm gonna blend all this out because as you can see, that's a mess. Um, but I am gonna bronze it out a little bit just so there is not a harsh line right here. This is my foundation. I'm just blending it up into my hairline. This is why you do your edges before you do your makeup. And then in my contour palette, I'm gonna go in with this light um, bronzer, the lighter bronzer, and just bronze around where that harsh line is and into my hairline. I like to drag it down a little bit right here near my eyebrow, just to create a little bit of dimension on my forehead and make my forehead look a little bit smaller. <laughs> I don't wanna over overkill, I won't overkill today. Um, and I don't know what I want to do with my hair, but I'm going to do something really quick with my hair. Guys, I retwisted my hair all by myself. I'm going to blend this out more, but I retwisted my, um, my hair all by myself, guys. And I am really proud. Granted, it, it may not look like, um, in the shop, but your girl, I think I did a good job. So I'm just going to pull it up in a ponytail because it is still really tight because I just did just retwist it. And I feel like if I start to put my ponytail um, and as soon as I get a retwist and my hair comes, um, like undone faster, if that makes sense, like I need a retwist faster, um, as opposed to if I was just to leave it down and not touch it. So I think I'm just going to do a little, I think I'm going to put it all up. I love my hair when it's all up. I don't know why, but boyfriend's like, you wear that style all the time. Okay. Cause I like it. Like. And then I always love to leave some down in the back, especially the ones that can't fit. I don't force them. I like a messy looking bun. I do not like anything um, too neat. So I keep my bun a little messy. I have my two down in the back and my two out in the front. And this is basically the final look. I'm gonna go in and blend out a little bit more wherever I need to blend. Yeah, so this is the final look, guys. Ooh, 
Ooh, baby. That needs to get blended. Oh, again. If you have seen anything after you're done your makeup, just go in with a damn beauty blender and blend it out if it needs to be blended. I do, like I said, I like the harsh contour, but it could use a little blending. Not that harsh. So, I'm gonna give y'all a close up. Let me get y'all a close up really quick. So here's a little close up. It's getting to it. It's getting to it. It's getting to it. Okay, okay, okay. This is drop back down. But getting to it. I really wish I could find something else to go with this. But this is all I have right here at my mother's house. But I'm loving it. Um, I'm gonna blend this more because it's a little more harsh than I would like it to be. I don't know if that really even did anything because I already set my face. So yeah, I'm just gonna tone that down just a little bit. A little bit, not a lot, baby girls, just a little bit. But I told y'all, I like to look real bronze. I'm a chocolate girl. I like to look chocolate. I don't like to look lighter than I am. And I, I feel like I'm giving real bronze, a really bronzy look right now. I wish I had a different look to go with this. Um, I like it. I'm just not my favorite. I definitely wish I had a different look lip to go with this. I feel like I could have just done an all new lip, um, or even like a little light pink lip or something. But. This will work for now. I think it's a little too light. Or I need to add some more lip line, at least to the bottom. Let me see, I need to add something because I'm not liking it. Okay, I think that's on down the um the color a lot. But guys, um, again, please, I wanna do a one series palette, um, a one palette series. So if you have any palettes, please let me know which palettes you would like me to see to create a look. Um, and yeah, my pony tip, my bun is like doing whatever it wants to do right now. So I'm sorry. But again, I just want to thank you guys so much for your support. Thanks for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing, all my subscribers. And thank you for 5K views on my video, over 5K views on my video. Um, I just want to keep this going. I want to continue to be consistent with YouTube and stuff. And if there's any videos that you would like to see, as always, please leave them down below in the comment section. Everything that I use in this video will be left down below in the description box if I'm missing something and you want to know where it's from or if I didn't list anything, please let me know. I will tell you. But again, let me know the palettes. Let me know what looks you want to see. Let me know what colors you want me to do. Um, and yeah, if you want to see a soft glam look, if you want to see a, a, a bold glam look, a 90s look, whatever. I really want to do like a 70s look, guys, because I love, if y'all watch Aaliyah J, I love her. If you don't watch her, y'all need to y'all need to go subscribe to her channel um, i've been watching Aaliyah j since like she first started and but anyways off topic she did this little 70s hairstyle look and i'm loving it it's been a really big trend on tiktok and i definitely want to try it i'm going to get her wigs and try to cut it up and stuff like that but that's neither here or there i might make a video on it, i might not i don't know but thank you guys so much for watching this video um just chatting with me let me know how y'all doing down below in the comment section and engage with me guys and make sure you follow me all on my socials um i will leave it down below in the description box where you can follow me and connect with me and yeah thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you can get notified every single time i post a video okay i'm done rambling bye guys